Hey there everyone, I'm Dust Bunny Avenger, and if you're new to the channel, welcome to Slackers in the Cover. If you like what you see, don't forget to slap that like button, bash that big old subscribe button, and tickle that little bell icon to make sure you never miss out on any of the awesome. Hello everyone, I'm Dust Bunny Avenger from Slackers in the Cover, bringing you more rogues like us. We got back into it yesterday. Those are what we have. Oh, the upper hand corner. The little, those are the crimson cores. You get those from bosses. Okay, I think I'm understanding this now. But what do you do with them? They said you can change it in for armor or boxes or something. Hmm. <laughs> those are the. Are, are, are you? Are you someone I can do? Gustav, welcome, welcome. Please browse my wares and offerings. If your expedition does turn up the treasure you're looking for, you can ninja search here. I have all kinds of chests for you to purchase. So I have to go on this side to purchase some of that. That's weird that... Yeah. Oh, so you trade the Ultra Cores for more treasure boxes. So we can get, like, dyes. We can get, um... The, the armor pieces we can get. What are you? Enchantment chest. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Enchantment chest plus one. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy enchantment. I have enough for four enchantment chests, and this makes your weapons just that much better. Yes, please. Give me good stuff, please. Open. Blast burn can now be found on weapons of the world. So I guess your blast is burning damage. I like it. I like it. I like it. Dash damage can now be found on weapons of the world. Burn Slam can be now found in the weapons of the world. Ooh. And Blast Slow can now be found. I, you know what? Money well invested. But let us continue onward. There's a little bit of plant shanty right here, dude. Wait, were you here before? Yeah, you, you wait, were you here before? Wait, 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 wait. I missed out on your original kind of... Want to head right to the coast? I'll take an electric core to overcharge the portal. The coast? Hmm. Okay, I missed out on something, but apparently this lets you skip right ahead to something. Maybe it's just further on in the map. But we're going to start back from the beginning. Now that we have these new... I we have several new items that we unlocked at the end of uh, last episode, as well as new enchantments we just unlocked. Let's go for it, guys. Plus, we unlocked new portals, and I'm ready. I'm ready, willing to go. Let's. I want to see what we get. Shield. My shieldy friend. Nope. Alrighty. No guys with quests? Oh, but more she Oh, there's a dude over here with a quest. Uh, I bet he wants to have... You want me to give you some of my HP, don't you? Yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit. You gave me an Ultra Core. That's actually pretty worthwhile, man. I'll, I appreciate it. We got here. Oh, I didn't even look at it. Smith's sword, Smith's hammer, pardon me. Blast damage lower, slam damage higher. DPS 64.3, a little bit lower in weight. Faster, move speed 10. A light blunt. You know what? I'm just going to keep the straight sword for that, actually. Let's continue onward. Oh, hold up. There's another person with a quest. You want cores, don't you? I don't have nine cores, man. If I had nine cores, I'd give you a hand, maybe. I don't want to hand out my cores until after I visit the shop. Because you never know, the shop could have that one guy that, that gives me bonuses. Oh, I need another one. Oh. What else is here? There's a map guy and there's a armor dealer. Oh my gosh. Funny, stop. Just absolutely getting destroyed. So 
stat boost, please. Crit increased. It's a pretty nice stat bonus. But we have to try not to die from being dumb. New item. Dark Iron Great Axe. You know what? I passed on this last time. It is slow as dirt. But it's got its abilities. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wasn't paying attention. Didn't see that guy until it was too late. Now we have an issue. Now, actually what I made... Uh, I don't have enough things for that. Oh, we're just going... Hold up. Hold up. Mr. Smarty Pants over here left some HP in this room. Life saved. 10 out of 10. Let's go. Give me all your money, sir! Okay, what we got here? We got, uh, the guy over there wants, what, 9 cores? 10 cores, something like that. So when we get enough cores, maybe we'll swing by and give him a shout. Oh, did you see that? So after you swing it, and you're down like that for a second, things walking into it actually took damage as well. So there may be something to be said about keeping your, your weapon down slightly. Hmm. I'll give that another go when we get a little bit further in. Uh, let's see, we've got the shop here. Can't... Are you drinking tonic? All right. Can't drink more than one tonic. I understand. We got turtle room right here. Really small starting map. In fact, I don't think I have enough cores to get anything, really. Maybe an armor? Six cores. Alright, I'll take it for the six cores. Nothing else on this map. There are no other... Yeah, everything else is blocked. Other than that one guy over here on the, uh, the left side, but he wanted more than I had. So let's fight this turtle. I'm sorry, turtle. You have become an enemy of the state. I do not abide by that. Oh man, the, I missed my speed boost in the last play. Easy peasy boss. Got an armor armor chest when we get back to town. Oh, are these the burning boots? Oh molten treads, I've missed you. Oh, I love these things. Dashing causes the heat up, eventually causing jets of fire to erupt in their wake. Burns all fo all but the toughest foes, and can glitch a boss. But I, I, maybe they fixed that because I, I did send that in and be like, "Hey, this is weird." Um. All right. So now we can leave little trails of fire behind us, which is actually more useful than it sounds because you use dashing in this game a lot. I mean, you're constantly dashing out of the way, and if occasionally it throws down a little field of fire to hurt enemies, then that's just you using your defensive ability to be on the offense. To the victor goes the spoils. Health increased! Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's go. See, it's stuff like that. that oh, I can't shoot through. I can't shoot, shoot through picket fences. Don't worry about that. Welcome to games. But logic doesn't really make sense. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Walk through that, you jerk. This would be really nice on those spiders. That's right. Anything that tries to chase me down gets toasted. Or I can knock you back into the flames. How do you like that? What you what you got, buddy? Who was in these outposts should be cleared out quick. Most of these areas were abandoned once these constructs came.
I'm noticing too, like as you go further, unlock more stuff, you get more and more badder enemies mixing in with the the spawns, which, which is cool because essentially that is progression. That is, as you get better, the enemies should be getting better too. We are stacked on HP and armor right now. 5 HP and 3 armor. Let's not let it go to waste. Ow. Walk. Oh, I actually should have walked into that. No, I did walk into that. Did I? I don't know. HP. Zweidhander. 92.1 blast damage. 68 slam damage. 46. Uh, a little bit faster. Not quite. Knocked back a little bit lower. I like it. I, I like the sword swinging. Nice. Might as well just clear this from two for the points. Is Don't be dirty like that, slime construct. Is a slime a construct, though? I mean... Hmm. Or are they just, like, natural creatures that the... the robots are, like, using? Kind of like a robotnik situation from Sonic. Mechanized animals. Creatures. Okay, what you got for me, buddy? His shield? He gave you shield in the final hour. Give it. Health increased. Amazing. Yes, take, take my shields. Speed increased as well. If we can get another... Oh, man, we've been to get three shields. Which, when we find a shop, we might be able to do that. Just off the idea that if we haven't taken enough damage, then it's not going to be really... Okay. I thought I warped for a second there. A warp point down... Easy room. And here's the shop. Uh, nobody's selling armor, which is unfortunate. But I get a stat boost for 15. Blast damage increase, putting our blast damage at 74.8. DPS 96.5. And smash, I don't know. I, I, I closed out too fast. Ah. No shield, though. Unfortunate. Okay, any more areas to explore? It does not look like that, so let's warp back. Go to the boss. Getting back in the groove of things. Hello, Giant Sentinel. Oh. Ow. And skadoosh. He is Fadito. For a sentinel defeated, zone cleared for his output, and we got a weapon chest out of it, along with a armor, a couple cores, and possibly a new item. Uh Sapphire Trinklet. <laughs> Sapphire Sapphire Trinklet. Sapphire Amlet. Hmm. Fire Fiery Treadplay boots I absolutely love, but the amulet with a large sapphire. Uh if we can second the situation again where we need you know, let, let's go with the Sapphire Amulet. I like the idea of earning a little bit of uh, armor here and there, and with these harder areas, more defense is never a bad thing. Especially since we're taking, what is this, the coast? The new path. This is the coast. 
So this is where we could have warped directly to from town if we had spended uh, one of those cores, which I like how you give me HP. I like it. Thank you. Why did I smack that? I don't know, but it didn't do any damage to me, so we're okay. Upgraded Sentinel. Ow. You're a jerk. Man, so we lost our armor that fast already. Gee. Blue slimes break down. No more? That's it? Oh, wait. Excuse me? What? I didn't realize those were enemies. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll go swing by and, um... Grab some heals. So we've got swarms of gnats on top of all sorts of other crazy things. And so, so many things on the ground. Get lined up for me, please. Zwine hand is strong, but Zwine hand's not this strong. Okay, we have. Did we kill it? Oh, that we had one of those. Um. Ow! You are jerk, sir. Oh, we had one of those uh, really balls that uh, shoots lasers. That was incorrect. Slam damage gets rid of projectiles and things on the ground. I have to keep that in mind. Nice. HP the ground. You never know when it's going to be just... Life and death in that situation. Alright, shield dude, let's go. Let's dance. What? There's just a mysterious shield floating around for a second. Except any misses. Crystals, please. Come on. Come on. Gotcha. Right, heading down to the south here. What do we got? We got all sorts of things. Shields? Slimes! So many slimes! Okay, this is my, my easy money thing just gets destroyed when they start ripping away my shields. Got a couple shields, we're good with that. Uh, there was a quest? Or something back here, are you a person? You're looking for cores, aren't you? Am I here looking for cores? If you could put a uh, pot with, say, eight of them, I'd make it worth your while. Alright. HP. Not something we actually need right now. Unless there's one of those, uh, give me HP or give me death statues. Primeval Lacerator? 
Uh, slam damage. Everything's everything's bad. Everything's just bad. Versus what we got. Does white hander? So white hander wins. Do we shop here finally? Twenty-seven cores. Do we have? We have a tonic, dude. Give me that tonic. Damage increased. Oh, babe. Uh, armor, HP, and uh, armor and HP. That's that's really all we got left. Okay. Place this down. So we found our boss area already. Ouch. No, you don't. You tried, but you failed. Boss? This, this looks like a boss. No! Another mountain ball, though. Blast damage, DPS, and weights is up. So it's just essentially Dwine Hander, but better. Also, dash damage. Check that out. We do a little damage when we dash through things. Alright. So it's investment coming back to fruition. I actually didn't mean to walk through that. I was waiting. Now, how much damage does it do when you dash through them? Is it set damage or is it based off of your damage? It seems to be doing a lot of damage. It is one banging those guys. Uh, what is my damage setting at right now? So it's 69.3, so if it's, even if it's just partial of that, that's a lot of damage for a dash. Let's see. Boop. Boop. Whoa. All right, head back down hill. I mean, we might as well just clear the rooms because we're sweeping through these guys. Bees. Alrighty, ready, Roo. What we got here? Take what you've earned, the rogue. Oh, possibly. S mm. Blast cooldown decreased. Your power grows. So our blast cooldown is now 10.2. That's Pretty solid, actually. Okay, what else we gotta go right now? Uh, HP's good, armor's good. Uh, it was an H was an armor or HP and a map guy over there. Twenty seven. You know, I I think we're good. I think we may actually have maxed armor. I keep forgetting that we took the amulet, the sapphire amulet, so we have the chance of earning back armor every so often. So yeah, we're just ready to go for a boss fight. Good old boss fight against Desert Dice. Probably has a better name than that. The Quicksand Combiner. Ooh. Ooh, I forgot that you did that. I'm on hurt myself, try not to die to you. Try to do what I can to not take damn. Eh, I am gonna take a lot of damage to this guy. I'm bad. I need to do blast damage. My blast damage actually out deals damage on my. You know what? Just kill him. We're not we're doing this dance around the fire again. No, thank you. HP up. What are you? Enchanted counterweight. Counterweight resembling jewel when attached. It causes any weapon to grow significantly larger. Weight and damage are unaffected. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. that, is, that is actually... So it increases your reach, which is great. But I think the gaining armor every so often in combat much more worthwhile. So 
make our way further in our adventures. The mongrel backwater, which means we're gonna fight a kraken at the end of this. A kraken. Good thing our blast damage is high enough to take out one of those tri laser, quad laser guys. These guys are annoying as a butt. That's right, light on up for the butt whooping of a lifetime. Step right up, step right up. Oh, you got lucky. Keep forgetting I have dash damage. I gotta remember to use dash damage. Could have probably used it on the last boss, honestly. But I didn't. Is dumb. Um, <laughs> too close to the wall. It wasn't fast enough on the swing. I got hit by that slime. Is he underground? He's underground. <laughs> not anymore, he's not. I like me now. You guys have some heck of a throwing arm, you know, despite not having arms. So little ones don't throw down spikes, just the big ones. It's actually really good information to remember. Tonics for 22 cores? Sure. Oh, more damage increase. Hey. 72.6 damage we're running at. What is it? Damage plus 10%. I like how it actually shows you the buffs on the far left side there of what you're getting. That's nice. So every damage increase is what, a 5% damage increase? I approve. I approve greatly. Yeah, eight cores, yeah. Show me what we're working with here. Some sort of event place over here. Ow, I walked into that. Should just kill the spider. With what I know best. Stepping on them! What you got for me? I gave you shield in the final hour. Blast charge increased. Wait. Blast charge increased? Excuse me? I think I think they meant blast damage, because why would you give your shield to get a bad bad bonus? That just that sounds dumb. Um we have a weapon ability we also have another event over here. Let's just see what it is. Oh, it's a battle event. Yeah, give me that. Plus cooldown decrease, crit increase, damage increase. Dude, that is a lot of awesomeness. Lots of awesomeness. I somehow missed all of that. <laughs> no, we got damage. Let's just go full. Full dashy through things. Oh, blast charge increased! We have two blasts! Oh, baby. Okay, you, you, you're making my day. You are making my day. Okay. No, do multiple fights. A bit of a tougher room than I thought it would be. We got it, no problem. It's HP on the f east side. West side, pardon. Luxury and letter opener. 117 blast damage, lower dash damage, still a thing. I I like my hammer. My maul, the dash damage, the, the, the huge blast damage. It may not be the uh, fastest weapon in the, in the collection, but it, it's definitely something. There's an HP dealer and yeah. Ooh, 
that's the berserkers. That's gonna be a boss battle. I almost guarantee you that. It's not. Burn slam, blast damage down, DPS up, move speed exactly the same. Oh, oh, we got berserk sword. We got a fire slam, which I kind of wish that the additional um, like benefactors you have for enhancements. I wish it actually showed you it like if it's burn slam, then it would be you know a fiery slam, and I just like okay things are burning now. Cause I'm not misreading that, right? Yeah, it is a burn slam. That's I, I, only thing really nitpicking. It's kind of disappointing. I, I I would like to see a like a burning slam attack, like fire everywhere. No, <laughs> statue. Why? What's the reach on this puppy? Ooh. If this is the sword that uh, Guts used in Berserk, then uh, I believe this is a sword you can cleave a horse in half along with its mounted rider. I mean, that, that's a serious sword. Yeah, I mean, look, look, that, that, that reach is intense. Okay, guy, Guts, whoever I am at the moment, let's not flub this up, please. We don't have the Onyx Skull. You do have armor after so many kills. Just still incredibly useful, but um, it's 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 not gonna it's 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 one of those things that if we're not careful. We are gonna we're gonna freaking see ourselves. How jerks! Okay, boss room found. Our way to the Kraken is right here, ready to go. We have HP in the west still. One more possible weapon right there to the bottom, as well as one, two, three rooms. What was that event room? You wanted my shield. And of all the times that we should be able to provide that, it would be now, or soon, I should say. That's that over there. We just gotta... Ah! Exploding ball, no. Ow! Darn it. Darn it all. Darn it. We got another problem. Yeah. Unless you have something amazing. You have not nothing amazing. You have nothing, not nothing amazing at all. That's right. Burn. Burn, baby, burn. Hey. No, nope, don't. That would have been dumb. Don't. Don't do a dumb. Dumb, da dum dum dum. Get out of here. You're always a big problem, child. That's it, huh? <sighs> I guess grab this HP over here and then head our way to our boss. So this would be topped up. No more sacrifices to the shield, unfortunately. Oh, this isn't the Kraken! Wow, this is the, um, the eel! For I think last year. I missed. Burning of bosses, that's uh, unfortunate. Overall, kind of an easy boss.
Frothing laser. We got his cash. I don't know if I know this one. Corrosive vial. A vial of highly corrosive oil. Applying this to oil to a weapon reduces its base damage, but greatly increases the chance to land critical strikes. Hmm. I like the idea of it, but I think I'm still going to stick with the armor gain. So now we've got uh, Crystal Caverns. Something like that. I have, I've completely forgot the names of these places. Gin, Ginfall Mines. I thought it was Jimfall Mines in the beginning. G-E-M-F-A-L-L. -L. Ginfall is alcohol. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I, I've been just misreading it. In the past, uh, I'll look. I'm curious. I, I wonder what the, the change was. Unless Jim Fall Mines was just something that was either too on the nose or uh, maybe used by someone else. Who knows? Blast damage increased. Yay. A weapon right here. Luxury and letter opener. Blast burn, which is tempting, honestly. Come on, little subterranean pains in the butts. Yeah. There you go. Now, I didn't say this in the last episode because, uh, honestly, I, I meant to say it, but I forgot. Uh, right now, uh, on the day this episode goes live, uh, Rogues Like Us should actually be on sale on Steam. I think it's, uh, marked down from $8.99 down to... 8 7 something like that? Sorry, fact-checking. Usually I have my notebook and I have everything written down, everything ready to go, and... Yeah, I'm just not on my game today when it comes to being set up and prepared. Apologies. But still, it's definitely a game worthwhile checking out. Uh, I'm having fun with it. I had fun with it during the uh, early access, and yeah, I'm, I'm so excited to see what it has to hold. Yo, why are you wait so fast? Oh, you electrified. That's why. Jerk. Jerk orb is jerk. Do we? Yeah, we don't have the the dash damage. Keep forgetting about that. Alright, heading down here. Five out of six. Charge is full. Back up. That is a big old slam. No, leave me alone. Yeah, take your burn damage. To hell with you. Okay, uh, to the south. Might as well. I feel like we may be at the southern, southern, the southern, the southernmost pit tip of the map. Dis disregard me and my, my weird moments of uh, <laughs> vernacular inclusion. Uh. No! You put me in there! Get. The swinging put me right in the range of those slimes. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. Whatever. get a burn on pretty much everything. So 
So HP up, armor, rocking. I forgot how hard it was to keep armor. I mean, it's hard. One hit, boom, gone, done. Done deal. What do you got here? Oh, it's just a thing. Oh, uh, let's head to the far south here. If I'll ever get back in the room. What'd you got? So Dan, you wouldn't have to have an extra shield, would you? Yeah, yeah, take my shield. Okay, you gave me HP, which I don't need, but I don't just like. Hot and spicy. That is Armageddon's End. I think that's the only legendary we've unlocked thus far. I'm gonna say legendary because it's a gold weapon. Gold weapons to me from my ARPG days, that's a legendary weapon. Move speed 9.5, DPS 149.5, damage overall lower, but it counts as a medium sword, not a heavy sword. It's about on point, if not a little bit higher on DPS than that. Blast damage 133 and slam damage is better It's as well. We do lose the burn. We do use the, lose the burn slam, but I think that's a fair trade. Let's put down a teleport here. I don't know what that is. I, I Maybe I know what that is, but I, I don't... It doesn't doesn't come through to me too quickly. Armor, armor. Honestly, probably should have saved that. Needs cores. Take six of them. All right. Uh, more HP. Well, at least we know we're going to the next battle with HP. Okay, we are getting. Okay, we're getting toasted and roasted. You know what? Let's just hang on to the armor there. That's two armor plus whatever we gain in the, in the meanwhile back at the ranch. Let's see if we can find our city of folks. Whoa, I got like stuck on something for a sec. I'm getting stuck on the environment, it seems. Whoa! Does not have as much reach as the old place does, and I'm. A little bit sad, and it doesn't have the reach. Downsides, I guess, the legendary weapons. Mm. Okay. Be. Careful, don't be dumb. Ooh. Possible good thing, possible bad thing out of here. For every victory, there's defeat. Accept your fate. Blast charge increased, health decreased. Oh, but we have three blast charges now. We did lose it. We, we did lose one of our HPs, which isn't great, but... Hey, Tonic Man, what can you, what can you do to help me out here? Slam damage increased. I like it. I'll take it. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, so we've got at least... We've got two armors and at least two HP. So four HP on the grid. I think it's... I mean, you know, I think it's worthwhile to look out the... Look through the rest of the room. See what we have available to us. Actually, what up? There wasn't a map guy back there, was there? Being we're getting the harder stuff, I want to know if there's any any reason to actually continue on and look for everything. There is another event and another possible weapon. I think, unless that other weapon is another Armageddon's End, it, it's not really worth the travel. But that event could be just stat boosts. A stat boosts I like. Boss battle. It is a boss battle. Yeah, later. It's a ramshackle glaive, so no, but at least we're getting better at finding those bosses. Ooh, a dead adventurer, the ghost of dead adventurers, whatever you want to call it. He gave his shield in the final hour. 
Ooh. So not only do we have money, but we have potential shields we can trade in for more stat bonuses. I can dig it, man. Sorry, there's going to be a little bit of uh, traversing the wilds for now because I'm really bad at this. HP, we're topped off. Shield, shield. So, we'll give our one shield and then... Was there a shield seller in the town? I don't remember. Health increased. We got our... We got that back. That's nice. I'm gonna just check over here real quick and just see if there was uh, stuff for sale for armor shields. Oh, I didn't see this. Please don't lose it. I need this for amazingness. Well, now I need to actually work back. Because now I need to trade two for crit increase. Hey, now. But there is an armor guy. I don't have enough cores. Oh, I don't have enough cores. Which means we can fight that last room over there. Maybe get enough cores for it. Maybe lose our, our armor. I think, I think it's worthwhile. Come on, let's... Just... No, you don't. You're not getting away from me. No! No, not the armor. That... Oh, that actually makes me sad, because had we not taken... The damage. Had we not taken the damage for it, we could have just traded in and had one shield going to the boss instead of no shields going to the boss. Oh, pain, pain and suffering. Take it. Blast charge increase. We have four blast charges. Holy moly. Alright, I'm good with that. Four blast charges and I'm getting zinned. Gonna be a fun battle. Or a horrible one, but probably a fun one. Let's go! Ooh. Rapid refinery. Oh, I am. Yes. Okay, we're fighting. Ow. Okay, stop dashing. Okay, take a second to go between charges. Ow! Okay, seriously. Do it. Do it. Please. Oh my gosh. Almost almost cooked the wrong goose there. HB heal back up. Those are the treads. I'm gonna leave those be. We defeated the refinery. Ready to rock and roll. Let's go. One more of the bosses defeated. Powering up this this thing. Oh, the crack's gotten a little bit bigger. Of course, it has two two bosses defeated. One to go. We get into what may be the final boss, which I kind of hope is not, honestly. But you never know. I mean, there, there may be a lot more to this game than meets the eye. I am a little bit, um, what's the word? A, a little bit more experienced with it since I, I played a lot in early access. But let us continue and then see what spoils we have after. 
portal has been activated. Look at all of that raining carnage. It's amazing. Mm. Boss is defeated. Hardshell Giant, Overgrown Sentinel, Quicksand Combiner, Frothing Laser, and Decrepit Refinery. So many mobs. No enchantment, but we got, uh, what, four chests? Five chests. So this guy has a quick warp over to, I guess this is Autumn area, if I had to guess. I kind of want to know, is it this guy that just offers it? I head right to the coast. Don't, don't give an ultra core. Okay, so we, okay, it's probably one of these guys over here. Hey, Clay, can I ax you a question? Get it? Because I have an ax? I got it. What's your question? Where'd you get that sharp looking one? Hey, Clay, are you okay? Yeah, just about turning myself in. Hey, hey. What are you? Are you new? Do you ever feel any rumbling now and then? I swear there's something big moving around in the farm months. Oh, that's because of the giant worm over there. Gotcha. Just open. A rose's thorn can now be found in the world. Nice. Another weapon. Hollow axe can now be found in the world. I like it. I wonder if that has anything to do with, like, uh, Hollow Knight. Because it does kind of have the same similar, uh, design, but it could just be just mere coincidence. We've got two armor chests open as well. Beyond Gone Gauntlets. And... Buccaneer Gauntlets. And we got a die chest as well. Silver die and bonus loot of Driftwood die. Yo, this is perfect, because I, I, silver... Silver is my favorite color, so this rocks. I'll, uh... I'll go, I'll go apply that right now, actually. Actually, we have 17 cores. Let's unlock a couple more enchantments. Now, if you're wondering why do I keep spending on enchantments, because enchantments can be affect any weapon. So, you're not just unlocking a weapon type that can spawn out. You're unlocking additional types of weapons. Like, like you could have three of the same type of weapon on the floor, and they could be three different weapons, in a sense. So let's get this. Well, there are four now. I guess as we get closer and closer to having all the enchantments, it gets more and more expensive. I'm okay with that. Because once we get them unlocked, we get them unlocked. I don't know, maybe it'll switch out to different boxes when enchantment boxes should drop. Got a melee stun. That sounds cool. Slam size, that also sounds pretty neat. Blast done. And a melee burn. So I guess just regular melee attacks can burn things, and that sounds really, really cool. Because you do regular melee attacks a lot. Uh, yeah, let's go check out the two armor pieces we got, and then switch over and see the die. Because I like silver die, we're going to set it up. Um, the common spotters, I already have those on. It's common gauntlets. Uh, I've got the, the bygones of Velton. I think this is what I had last time. Oh, uh, yeah. Health bonus and armor. That's nice. Buccaneer can give you a speed buff, light weapon master, and crit buff. I don't know what a light weapon master does. Probably just increases damage to light weapons, which I like the idea of it. Essentially doing, like, set runs where it's just, like, alright, I'm just going to use all the white, white weapons. But, at the same time, I guess it would kind of deficit you in the sense that, um, there's so many different weapon types versus just, yeah. You know what I mean. Okay, let's, uh, switch our stuff out for Silver Die. Since we unlocked it, customize your die's appearance with die bottles. Equip. Oh, yeah. I look like the Great White Ninja. Done. But, yeah, I think that about wraps me up for this time. 
Thank everyone for joining me. Thanks for hanging out for more news and information on what's going on and what may be. Check out the description below. If you like what you saw and want to see more like it, slap the like button, bash the subscribe button, and share the video. It helps us out so much. This is Dustman Avenger signing off for now. Later underground.